Hey guys, and welcome back. You're watching the Camera 64 Podcast, and I am your host, Alfonso Chavez, and as always, we're coming to you from the garage here in San Antonio, Texas. Well, guys, I've been out for a while, but uh, it's always good to be back in front of the camera. I really do miss you guys whenever I don't make a video. A lot of things have just been going on, and, and I guess that's life, right? It's all about things going on. My, my daughter-in-law's been having a tough pregnancy, uh, but we're getting close to the end, so hopefully the next two or three months for her will be a lot better. I want her to be comfortable. I want her to feel good and feel safe and uh, feel confident about her pregnancy. Uh, so that's definitely something that is on my mind. Uh, the other thing is, is photography in general, guys. We are off, it's 2024, we're mid-February, and just the way we closed out 2023 is the same way that we're going in 2024. So the writing's on the wall, guys. I mean, it really is on the wall. I can see it. Things are not looking good right now, and I don't think it's just the photography world. I think it's everybody. People are tight. We don't have extra money to spend. We just have what we need to get by and get our bills paid uh, each and every month. It's a tough spot to be in, but I understand it. But it puts me in a situation where I, I need to make some decisions, make some choices. What do I want to do? Do I want to continue forward in this path? Or is it time for me to get a part-time job maybe instead so that I can have something that's a little bit more solid uh, and I, money that I can count on? Because there are some things that if I should make the decision tomorrow to not do photography anymore, um, there's going to be some changes that, that are going to have to be made and there's going to ha have to be some gear that's absolutely sold so that I can get out from uh, the cost of photography because there is cost. There's the website, uh, there's the storage, uh, there's the use of computers uh, to make it all kind of work out. Uh, fast internet, uh, website, just to name, I mean, and that's just a few things, guys. Those are monthly charges. Those are things that I have to pay for every single month, whether I have business or not. And that's the truth. So if there's no business, then I have no business having all these extra things. And therefore, that's the conundrum. I'm trying to use that word, try and sound all fancy, but but that's that's the situation, guys. Can I make enough to maintain? Uh, the way that I've done business for the past 15 years now, 10 or 15 years, having a website, having a POS that I use, having uh, software for the best software for editing and so on and so forth. And it's just, it's a never ending thing. It keeps going on and on, right? So that's, that's the situation. What do I do? I can't afford to pay for those things if I'm not getting no work, right? It's a race, guys, and unfortunately, I think it's a race to the bottom. I cannot tell you how many people on Facebook now are advertising covering events for 400, 500. But here's my thing. I mean, I want to do that for that price, and I probably will do a few here and there at that price. But the fact is, if, if that's the price that I'm charging, I, I can't afford to maintain all the services that I provide for them. Creating books, having a website, having them be able to download from Dropbox. I just have to really sit down and figure out exactly what I can do with the funds that they want to pay me. And, and not only that, but also be able to actually make profit, to actually make some money. Because if you know anything about me on this channel, I talk about it all the time. Photography is fun, it absolutely is, but the decision to actually make it into a business and move forward in that direction, it's to make money, plain and simple. If I'm not making money, to me, I'm not having fun. Photography is fun, I guess, for most people, but for me, photography is only fun if I'm actually making money, if I'm progressing, uh, if I'm able to buy the things that I need, if I'm able to have the website look the way that I want it to look. That customer experience to me personally is important. I want that customer service 
to be nice. I want the experience to be nice. Uh, I want people to say, hey, Camera 64, yeah, yeah, you definitely, you know, they're the people to hire. And we still get calls. I mean, my phone rings two or three times a week. But the fact is, is that nobody has the funds. As soon as I tell them the price, they're like, oh my gosh, 2000 3000 that's a lot. Uh, but the fact is, is that if I'm charging you 3000 by the time I pay my son and my daughter-in-law, by the time I make my my payments for for my computer and for the services that I use for Dropbox, for uh, for the actual editing software that I use, by the time I make all that stuff, guys, on a three thousand dollar job, actually the amount that actually falls into my pocket or is is spendable for me after paying taxes and everything I'm probably making about 600 bucks 500 bucks is that worth losing an entire weekend because in the end time is money right if I'm giving you my time there has to be a trade-off there has to be a trade-off that's that's life if you want this over here you got to give up this you can't have this without giving this up it's, it's how it works right I met my wife and I made the decision, okay, this is my wife. So I chose my wife. But by choosing my wife, I have to give up everything over here. I have to give up all the girls over here. Right? That's that's life. That's how it works. But the idea of asking me or any other or anybody for that matter to do a service for you or do any any anything to do with with them doing or taking their time to do something for you it comes at a cost somebody has to pay that cost right sometimes it's you directly sometimes it's indirectly from other people but in the end there is always a cost right cost and effect that's how it works you want anything done you want your car worked on uh, you need your your pipe at your house busted uh, you need to fly across the country or whatever the situation is no, any movement that you make it all takes money all of it okay so I don't know what to do I, I, I find myself in a tough situation and I honestly at this point do not know what to do but uh, let me know what you think guys should I just give up on photography altogether and sell off start selling off cameras I'll probably make more money at this point <laughs> I, no, as a matter of fact, I know I would make more money right now selling to other photographers who are gonna who will take my three or four thousand dollar camera and go go do events for four hundred bucks. <laughs> uh, it's funny. It's it's sad at the same time, but uh, that's where we're at. That's where I'm at, guys. Uh, I pray that all of you do continue to do weddings and quinceañeras, no matter what. Give up, don't give up on doing that. Weddings and quinceañeras are so important, guys. Quinceañeras are super important, I think, for the young ladies to the, to, to see them come of age. Uh, and of course, getting married is one of the best things that anybody could ever do. I think it's definitely the biggest biggest decision in my life, uh, and. Uh, it, it actually sets the tone for your entire life. Being married is so important, guys. The idea that you can go through life, oh, I'm, I'm fine on my own. I don't need anybody. I don't want anybody. Uh, you know, get me a dog or a cat. That might work for a little bit, but uh, trust me, in the end, you'll, you'll figure out that marriage basically was one of the most important decisions of your life. And uh, no matter how difficult it can be at times, it's very satisfying in the end, guys. Well, that's my show. I hate to be a little doom and gloom, but hell, it is what it is, right, guys? Photography is not cheap. Uh, I'm not cheap. I, I don't. I don't do work for clients uh, cheaply. That's not what I do. I want. I want to provide the best, highest quality possible always. Because in the end, it's my name going on to it, guys. It's my name, Alfonso Chavez, Camera 64. That's who we are. It's important to me. But till next time, guys, I want all of y'all to have faith, pray.
pray with me because I am definitely praying that everything goes back to normal. I pray that we can go the next couple of years without having to be in a war or without our country going into the toilet because, you know, numbers don't lie, guys. Numbers don't lie. I'm not the only one. We're not the only business that's seen a huge decline. People are, are in a tough situation, guys. So I'm praying for you. I'm praying for myself. I'm praying for my own son and daughter, daughter-in-law. I'm praying for my parents, my aunts, my uncles. Let's pray that if this situation gets past us, guys, and we can get back to a, a new normal somehow. I hope it's possible. I really pray to God that it's possible. But that's been the Camera 64 podcast for today. I hope I don't have you too, too gloomed out. Uh, I want you to go forward and enjoy the rest of your day and have a good time. And uh, in the next episode, guys, I'm going to talk about the 20D that I bought. I actually had the opportunity to go shoot it, but we won't go into it now. Let's just say that uh, you definitely want to watch the next video when I talk about the Canon 20D because I did a job with it and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it was great. So, so next time, guys, you take care. This has been the Camera 64 Podcast. I've been your host, Alfonso Chavez. So until next time, you take care. Bye-bye.